It's July 23rd, 2019, and the machines have taken over. But this isn't Cyberdyne, and I'm not talking about Skynet. I'm talking about my appliances. Hey guys, welcome to today's video where I'm going to be cleaning pretty much all of my major appliances. And I really, really don't want to do this. So I figured I would channel my favorite guardian against the machines, Sarah Connor. And if you need some motivation to bid hasta la vista to the dirt and grime in your appliances, come join me. In other words, come with me if you want to clean. Okay, so here I am starting in on my washer and dryer, just giving it a good wipe down and then also um, doing some cleaning of of the seals and also the um, the lint trap, things like that. It's been a roller coaster, but you stayed, and now I'm taking over for the day. Cause I can be what you want. Now, if you have a front loading washer like I do and you're noticing like some odor problems or maybe some mildew issues, a couple of things you can do to prevent that is to run a bleach cycle, run the sanitized setting on your machine if, you, if that's available to you. Uh, but one of the easiest things that you can do is to just leave the door to your washer open when you're done with your last load of laundry. I always do this. This allows the drum to dry completely and you shouldn't have a problem. Now I'm getting to work on my Keurig coffee machine. I'm just using vinegar. I don't spend the money on the um, the name brand descaler. I find the vinegar works just fine and it is five bucks as opposed to 13. now I'm on to cleaning my ovens. I didn't do my bottom one because that just doesn't get a whole lot of use um, in the spring and summertime and I did clean my, uh, my oven in spring. Um, I will be cleaning the bottom one before Thanksgiving. That's just kind of one of the things that I do to prep for Thanksgiving. Uh, but the top one definitely needs to scrub down. <laughs> an induction cooktop. It's by Viking. I love it. Things get done so fast on this thing. Um, but I will admit that the first time that I used it, I burned almost everything. Every The cooking time happened so fast. It took me a, a little bit to get used to it, but now I don't think I could ever go back. Now, You. 
Okay, now I'm just wiping down my fridge with um, a mixture of vinegar and water. Um, this works great to get um, to get any residue uh, stuck on food fingerprints off of my fridge. The only thing that it doesn't do is polish it very well. I, I didn't really care for uh, the way it finished. Um, I'm still on the lookout for a perfect natural um, stainless steel cleaner, but I haven't found it yet. I might just have to give up and get some Wayman's. And now on to my least favorite part of this video, the dishwasher. Um, this was probably the grimiest appliance that I had to deal with today. Uh, it wasn't fun, but I am so glad I got it done. Down, down to the ground, you're dragging me. It's constantly, no, I, I won't make a sound. I love the pain, it sets me free. Okay guys, well I just finished up. I ran a like a cleaning cycle on the dishwasher with nothing in it. Um, no dishes, I mean just some, some more wraps. The only thing that I didn't do was I didn't film me cleaning out the filter of my dishwasher. Uh, mainly just because I was just, it was gross and it was just kind of embarrassing. In the summer of 2015 is when we finished this house. And from that date till now, I never cleaned the filter on that thing. And uh, you could tell. Um, and it was just like, nobody needed to see it. So it was, it was gross, but it got done. And hopefully it means that my dishwasher will, will work more efficiently, last longer. That was kind of the point of this video, just to take care of my machines and have them work as well as possible and last as long as possible. Um, so I hope you guys were inspired uh, to maybe get cracking on cleaning your own appliances or really any tough job that you want to tackle in the house. If you are new, hi and welcome. Um, please feel free to come back for more cleaning motivation. Uh, like and subscribe if you have not done so already and I will see you guys in the next one. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye for now.